I'd like to show you how I converted an antique double drive spinning wheel into a single drive scotch tension wheel by making a very simple rudimentary uh, flyer bobbin assembly from Hobby Lobby parts for under $10 if you have already have a drill and, and a few tools. So when I bought the wheel, it didn't have a treadle, nor did it have a flyer bobbin assembly. And I made the treadle just by purchasing some uh, hardwood slats and using wood glue. I also made a footman. Um, it's made from just a piece of leather scrap from Hobby Lobby. Um, there's a hole cut into the leather to attach the treadle with a string and there's a hole at the top to attach it to the wheel. I do keep this uh, part oiled. It's in good condition. And I keep this little piece of leather oiled or else it just sort of sticks. It moves a lot more freely when I keep that oiled. So that's the treadle and the footman. And I originally used this as a spindle wheel. I do have a video on how I used this wheel as a spindle wheel, but I wanted to try a flyer bobbin assembly without purchase, having one made for hundreds of dollars. So I just looked at some other people's ideas online and came up with this little Scotch tension um, flyer bobbin assembly. And so, I forgive me for not using all the correct terminology, um, but the, my first you know, problem was how to, to make this part. And this is just a little candle holder, a little wooden candle holder. And it is drilled into the square dowel that makes up part of the flyer. And then we just drilled a little hole. My husband used his tools to help me assemble this. Drilled a little hole in the side of the candle holder. So, uh, so many people have to work with metals and we don't have the equipment to work with metal and cut a hole in metal. So this was simple. Um, it's being supported by a piece of fence wire. I needed something loose enough that the wood could slip easily. I used to use a leather bearing with the spindle wheel because uh, my metal knitting needle easily turned in the leather without a lot of friction. But for this wood, I needed very little friction. So this wire is supportive, it's stiff and supportive, and yet it allows um, the flyer to spin easily. And then there's also wire on the other side, supporting the end of the rod. And this rod is just made of a hardwood dowel. So again, when we drilled into um, the square dowel, it also is drilling into the rod just a little bit and there's also some wood glue to help hold that. And I just, I did use hardwood oak just to make sure it was as strong as it could be. I keep it oiled here where it's supported by fence wire and I keep it oiled here just to keep it spinning smoothly. So this is just a square dowel cut glued and screwed in, and then little cup hooks that are screwed in. On the, for the whirl, I used two smooth toy wheels, a little bit smaller than what I used on the bobbin, and um, they are glued together, and I think they're just, I just slid them on here, and it's so stiff, I didn't need glue, but I might have glued them. Either way, I do not take this off. It's just too hard to get it back in its place. So my bobbin, Though it moves freely on the rod, it does not come off because I can't take the whirl off. So I do just wind this into a plying ball straight from the bobbin, straight from the spinning wheel when I'm done spinning a single. I don't try to take off this bobbin. This bobbin is two toy wheels with PVC pipe in between. I had the guy at Home Depot just cut the PVC pipe the length I needed. And we did have to drill a little bit Sorry, bigger I ran hole. out of storage on my phone. I did have to drill bigger holes into uh, these wheels to accommodate for the PVC pipe it, and then also use some glue. So I can't really demonstrate with one hand. It's a little clackety because of the, how loose it is being supported, um, but it obviously spins well. It's certainly faster than my spindle wheel. 
Hope that gives some of you some great ideas. Oh, the brake band, uh, I have supported inside this little flex um, distaff and it wraps around the grooves of the toy wheel nicely and then uh, there's a leather band here um, to give it a little give and then I just tighten and loosen it as needed using this this distaff so uh, it's a new use a 21st century use for this old distaff and and that's what operates the brake it's it's it has fallen off the little grooves right now but this is just cotton embroidery thread my drive band is just a a, a plastic vinyl um, tubing it um, I tried hemp and I tried cotton but they're just too slippery inside these smooth toy wheels so this is sticky enough to to stick in there and and um, and then this tensioning does work when it's time for me to spin and tighten this um, drive band.